Dear friends, again welcome to the next problem of camps that is problem number 5. The data of the problem is like this. Draw the profile of a camp operating a knife edge follower having a lift of 40 mm. The camp raises the follower with simple harmonic motion for 120 degree of the rotation followed by a period of 12 for 40 degree. The follower descends for the next 120 degree rotation of the camp with uniform velocity. Again followed by 12 period. The camp rotates at a uniform velocity of 120 rpm and has a least radius of 30 mm. What will be the maximum velocity and acceleration of the follower during the lift and the return? Friends, let us note down the given data first. Here it has been given the lift of the follower is 40 mm h is 40 mm angle of ascent during which the follower rises that is phi a is 120 degree angle of dwell delta 1 during which there is no movement of the follower is 40 degree then there is a descent during which the follower returns that is phi d angle of descent is equal to 120 degree. The cam is rotating at speed of 120 rpm. The minimum radius of the cam profile is given 30 millimeter and we have to find out the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration during ascent and descent. Now we know that Angular speed omega is given by 2 pi n by 60 and that is equal to 2 pi into 120 divided by 60 that is 12.57 radian per second. Now during ascent there is a simple harmonic motion and we know that during simple harmonic motion the maximum velocity is given by this relation that is h by 2 into pi omega upon phi a in radian. So substituting this value 40 by 2 into pi into 12.57 and this 120 is converted into radian by multiplying pi upon 180. So that gives 377.1 millimeter per second. Now, maximum acceleration is given by relation h by 2 into bracket pi omega upon phi a whole square. On substituting this value, we found f max on calculation is 7110.5 millimeter per second square. Now, during descent, there is a uniform velocity. So, we know that maximum velocity is given by h omega upon phi d where phi d is in again radian. So, substituting this value 40 into 12.57 upon 120 multiplied by pi upon 180 and that gives on calculation 240.07 millimeter per second. Now, as it is a uniform velocity, so there is no acceleration, means acceleration is 0. So, the maximum acceleration f max is equal to f is equal to 0. Now, for drawing a displacement diagram, we have to consider the scale. Let us take scale for lift is 1 millimeter is to 1 millimeter that is 1 is to 1 
and scale for rotation considering 2 degree rotation is equal to 1 millimeter. Here the cam rotation during follower motion is theta is equal to angle of ascent plus dwell plus angle of descent that is equal to 120 degree plus 40 degree plus 120 degree gives 280 degree of rotation and the lift of the follower is 40 mm and the cam rotation is 280 degree we need to draw a rectangle for drawing the displacement diagram having dimension 40 mm as the lift scale is 1 is to 1 and 140 mm as scale for the rotation is 2 degree is equal to 1 mm. So, let us draw the rectangle for that dimension. Now divide this rectangle length into three parts that is ascent, dwell and descent according to scale and mark them as a phi a delta 1 and phi d. Now the ascent is according to simple harmonic motions to Draw the displacement diagram according to simple harmonic motion. Draw a semicircle having diameter is equal to height. So, taking the middle part of middle point of the height, draw the semicircle. Then divide this ascent angle into six equal parts and draw vertical lines indicating those parts. Similarly, divide this semicircle into same number of equal parts that is 6 by using compass. Now, number them starting from 0, 1, 2, up to 6, the divisions of the angle of ascent and also number this semicircle 1 to 6. Now to draw the displacement points, draw a horizontal line from first point on the semicircle which will intersect to the first vertical line. Similarly, draw a horizontal line from second point on the semicircle which will intersect the vertical line from second point. Similarly, draw all these horizontal lines from points on semicircle of 3, 4, 5 respectively. Now, mark the intersecting points 1, 1, let us say it is 1 dash, intersecting 2, 2, let us say 2 dash, similarly 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and final point 6 and 6 dash will be the same. Now, Join all these points from 0 to 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, up to 6 by a smooth curve. 
this gives the displacement diagram for rise of the follower now let us draw the displacement diagram for return again here it is a uniform velocity first of all divide this into six equal parts and draw vertical lines indicating those parts and number them 6 7 8 9 up to 12 now during the well the displacement is remaining of the follower is at the highest so the displacement diagram will be horizontal line from 6 to 6 and as it is a uniform velocity the displacement diagram will be a straight line joining 6 at the left top to the point 12 at the bottom right now mark this point 7 dash 8 dash 9 dash as the intersection of the vertical lines and the diagonal and which indicates the displacement diagram during the return now for drawing the cam profile the base circle radius or the list radius of the cam is given 30 mm so draw a circle with some arbitrary center and 30 mm radius now draw a vertical line passing from the center which represents the line of action of the follower now angle of ascent is 120 degree so draw a angle from this line of action toward the left marking 120 degree which indicates the angle of ascent and draw a line we are here assuming that the cam is rotating in clockwise direction so as it rotates the follower get lifted up to 120 degree of rotation similarly mark angle of ascent at 40 degree and angle of descent at again 120 degree and mark them on the diagram that is here it is angle of ascent phi a then angle of dwell that is delta 1 and then here it is phi d that is angle of descent now as we have divided the displacement diagram into six equal parts here the angle of ascent will be also to be divided into same number of equal parts so six parts and total 120 degree so at the interval of 20 degree mark the points 20 40 60 etc and draw the lines from the center passing from those points similarly in the ascent uh, descent angle divide into same number of equal parts as we have done in the displacement diagram here again that is uh, six parts at interval of 20 degree and again draw a radial lines from center and passing from those parts of the circle and mark them as 1 2 3 up to 12 as we have marked in the displacement diagram now transfer the displacement distance from 1 1 dash to here 1 on the radial distance displacement 1 1 dash from displacement diagram to 1 to a line and mark that point let us say it is 1 dash similarly a transfer distance 2 2 dash from the displacement diagram on this radial <coughs> length that is from point 2 similarly transfer distance 3 
फोर फाइव सिक्स एटसेट्रा हियर ड्यूरिंग डबेल देर इज नो राइज और रिटर्न सो द डिसप्लेसमेंट फॉर बोथ द सिक्स विल बी रिमेन सेम एंड अगेन देन फ्रॉम सेवन टू ट्वेल्व इट विल रिड्यूस डिस्टेंस सेवन टू सेवन डेज एट टू एट डेज नाइन टू नाइन डेज एटसेट्रा ट्रांसफर ऑन द रेडियल डिस्टेंस now mark this point as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash respectively and now starting from the first zero point that is the edge of the knife edge follower draw a smooth curve passing from all this point 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash here 6 dash to 6 dash it is a uh, radial uh, curve so we can use a compass to draw the displacement from 6 dash to 6 dash dear friends in this way we have drawn the profile of the cam for given condition still if you have any problem any confusion please write in the comment or you can uh, raise a question in the comment i will like to answer you thank you very much